Today is a good day. Why? Simple. I've got a big box to unpack here. So let's take a look at what's inside it. So the first thing to know is that it's got one of these clippy straps on it. Now, I quite like these because it kind of shows instantly whether you've had any tampering on it. And some of these bottles of whiskey are quite expensive. Now, this one isn't a particularly expensive bottle, but it's a bottle that I'm quite excited to own. So let's get this open, which is easier said than done. Oh no, loads of plastic. People are gonna complain that there's plastic in here. Well, I don't care. There's loads of good packaging in here. Ah, that's the bottle by the looks of it. And this is the box. And the receipt. Where have we bought it from? We've bought it from the Whiskey Exchange. Really good people, we've paid for this, we've not been sponsored for this. It's just a bottle that I wanted to own and I've bought it for my collection. How much did it cost me? It's cost me 249 pounds. Now, can you tell what it is yet? Let's go, what should we do first, box or bottle? In many ways, to be honest with you, I'm more excited about the box on this one. So let's jump into this first of all. So again, nicely packaged. Now this is just a modern release, this bottle. And it's nice to see that so much care has been taken with it. Now, I'm sure there are gonna be some people out there that get frustrated by this because people don't like this investment world that there is now. But the truth is, is that boxes do matter. That's why retailers put so much energy into making nice packaging because packaging is part of this world, if you like it or not. Anyway, it's in a cardboard slip and inside that cardboard slip, is a bag and inside that bag, oh wow, is, let's get tracking on this, is, ah, there we go. The Dalmore Luminary Series 2022 edition and this is just a standard 15 year old. So this is a box that really is making this bottle really. Let's have a look at it then. So it's sort of like velvety, feel to it, like a bit of a soft touch feel to it. Loads of silver foil embossing on it. You've got the Dalmore 12 pointed stag here. You've got lots of gump on it. Dalmore Luminary number one, 2022 edition, age 15 years. We'll come back to the casks that it's matured in. And then here you've got the luminaries. So these are the people, if you go back and watch our Dalmore se- uh, video about the entire series, you'll learn a lot more about the entire series. But this is the bottle, the 15 year old, old bottle that was created by, I'm gonna have to look at my notes here because I can't pronounce it very well, Maurizio Mucciola and Greg Glass. So Maurizio Mucciola is the, the understudy to the, to, the, to the big architect who designed the, the very expensive bottling. And Greg Glass is the master whiskey maker at Dalmore. So here's the luminaries here, a bit about Kengo Kuma and his protege, Maurizio Mucciola. So Maurizio is the, or Maurizio is the one who, who created and designed this box. And Greg Glass is the one, the master whiskey maker at Dalmore, who created the whiskey, which I assume is gonna be inside this bottle. And there it is. The Dalmore Luminary Series 2022 edition. 15 year old whiskey for quite a high price. You know, it's 250 pounds. The standard Dalmore 15 is about 100 pounds, but this is not your standard 15 year old. So as it says on the front of the box here, it says matured in American white oak, finished in hand selected Italian Amarone red wine casks and bespoke virgin Kintsugi casks crafted from Scottish tay, Japanese oak, and American white oak. So most of that makes sense, you know, red wine casks, American casks, but then what's this Kintsugi casks? Well, this is, it comes back to my antiques history, uh, or sort of my, I was an auctioneer for 10 years, 10, 12 years before I set up my current business. Now, that process, king kintsugi, it's a Japanese term for repairing things beautifully. So the legend has it that there was a 17th century, uh, I think it was 17th century, might have been 15th century, anyway, 17th century sort of a 
Japanese uh, chap and he broke a plate and he sent it away to China to be fixed and it came back with staples in the back of it. Now that is a traditional way of repairing things but this chap thought, no way, this isn't good enough. And then he had his own artisans create a more beautiful way of restoring the piece. And they use precious metals. They use gold and they use other metals like that. And we'll put some images on screen so that you can see it. So there is a bit of a tenuous link here. You know, you've got the three, you know, your Scottish Tay, Japanese oak and American white oak. That might be, well, they're the three, you know, the three, uh, I don't know, what are they? Get in the comments below and let me know. I'm assuming it's to do with the nationalities of some of these people. But what they will have done there is knitted staves from each of those casks to get together to put it in. Now, what are my thoughts overall on this bottle and box presentation? Well, you know, you cannot deny that this is a really nicely, ah, oh, get in the box, you silly thing. Yeah, a really nicely, let's get my camera working on here a really nice bottle on box of whiskey so it opens up nicely nice hinge flap on it really nice presentation oh hang on a minute oh yes look at that the box opens up and tucks itself away neatly so you can leave the bottle on display there and then all of this displays around the outside so a really nice bit of thought gone into that and that's what the thing is that I like about this series the most it's the thought it's the obvious care and it's the obvious love that's got into it I mean come on you don't need a box that opens up all the way around like that so that you can display it open and your bottle looks amazing but they've put the effort to putting the care and thought into doing that now 250 quid there's 15,000 bottles of it that's a heck of a lot. It's gonna be released all over the world. It'll be everywhere, I would have thought. Should you buy it? Of course you should. It's a really, really beautiful bottle of whiskey. It's 250 pounds. Is it gonna go up in value? Of course it will. Will it go up in value in the next one, two or three years? Possibly only a little bit, but I think the fact that it says 2022 edition implies that you're gonna see 23, 24 editions of this. Maybe they'll increase the age statements. Maybe there'll be a bit different parts to the series. Like, uh, you know, I don't know. They'll do something with it. There's something else that's gonna be happening to this. And that's what collectors like to get their teeth into. Look at the folios, for example. What changes? The whiskey doesn't change. The only thing that really changes is the design of the blooming tin. Now, people love that folio series. They probably love it because it's been going on so long. They know that there's 24 of these to come and they want to get the collection built up. So the fact that this might be built up over a period of several years and also the fact that it's probably going to appeal to a certain element of drinkers at this price point as well means that I would say it's definitely a worthwhile buy. The presentation is absolutely amazing and you know what? For 250 quid, I think that's an absolute steal. What do you think? Get in the comments below and let me know.